Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Friday Football Fever. We've got some really great matchups tonight, so without further delay, let's hit the highlights. Our game of the week featured number one ranked team in our poll, nationally ranked Manatee, coming off a loss at nationally ranked Our Lady of Good Counsel in Maryland last week. Canes hosting Riverview tonight. Rams coming off a tough loss at Palmetto last week. Leon Allen trying to increase the pain. That's a touchdown for the Hurricanes early on, and they've hit early and often. Anthony Laro, watch this crazy run. He looks bundled up. Somehow he squirts out of that huge pile up the right side. 80 yards with a convoy. That's Allen there helping him out, but no trouble there. That's a touchdown, 14-0 Manatee cruising. And Cord Sandberg rolling. He's a lefty, so that's an awkward throw. He finds Laro for another touchdown, 21-0. Rams defense had a few flashes. They get one here into the Hurricane backfield, a tackle for a loss, but way too much canes in this one. Big Leon Allen, touchdown up the middle. Manatee cruises to a win, 48-6. Boy, this got ugly for Riverview. SNN Local News 6 sports reporter Calvin McClure watched most of this game, but he, he may have had his eyes covered when things got ugly, which was pretty much right away. Calvin, how was it tonight? Adam, this one got out of hand really quickly. I felt like I was watching cattle being led to slaughter, but in Riverview's defense, they had a very tough three, you know, schedule starting out, and it's not going to get that much easier. We caught up with Ty Johnson and Corey Sandberg after the game, and here's what they had to say. We felt like we should have played better, had a better showing today. Um, like I said, Manatee's been doing this for a long time. we got a ways to go, but we're working at it, and we're confident that we'll get going in the right direction. One thing that I was really liking was our confidence, actually. Um, come off a couple of games playing sloppy. Um, tonight we played well. Um, I feel like the things we gotta kind of work on are um, communication, offensively, getting the right routes, and um, just confidence in one another, really trying to build a team chemistry and come together as a team. And that was Riverview head coach Ty Johnson and star quarterback Court Sandberg for the Manatee Hurricanes. He had that ridiculous run, Adam, about 63 yards where he just broke off. And like I said, Riverview, it doesn't get much better for them. They got Venice coming next week. That's it for Game of the Week. Back to you. All right, thanks very much, Calvin. Tough loss there for Riverview uh, up against the nationally ranked Manatee squad. How about another big game, which we thought was going to be a big matchup. Second-ranked Palmetto visiting sixth-ranked Sarasota. Tigers roaring early in this one. Big Trent Miller forces his way in on a QB sneak to put Palmetto up seven zip after a Sarasota turnover, but the Sailors had flashes. Marlon Mack up the middle, pinballs his way for a nice gain and a Sarasota first down. Sailors couldn't score on the drive though. Next Palmetto possession. They can run the ball too. Second quarter, look at the patience and the shiftiness of Josh Hicks. That's good enough for a first down. Palmetto led it 14 nada at the break, and the Tigers go on to cruise to a 35-14 win. Kind of surprising. Most people thought this one would be a little bit tighter. 